Hi again, mathematical thinkers. Today I am going to be working with lesson 2.7, which is on division. So you see the learning target posted at the end of this lesson and after practice, you'll be able to estimate quotients and use a division algorithm, which is a method to divide whole numbers. And I'm gonna show two different methods in this video and you are probably familiar with and have used at least one of them because you've done division before. So it's important to know some vocabulary related to division. I have a problem here and the large number is called the dividend. The number that we divide by is the divisor. The quotient is our answer and sometimes there is a remainder in the quotient. We've learned this year that we can express that remainder as just the remainder in a number, as a fraction, which would be a mixed number, the whole number, and then the remainder written as a fraction. And in this case, the if I wrote this, and I'll do it as a fraction, we'd have our whole number and then that 13, the remainder would be written over the divisor. So it would be 55 and 13 fourteenths. We also learned that uh, you can express the remainder as a decimal and we won't be talking about that in this lesson. So the vocabulary is important for you to know and understand. So here's the problem. Josie has 327 photographs. She is able to put 12 photos on each page of her scrapbook. What is the number of pages she'll need to display all of her photos? She needs to buy an album with enough pages in it to show all her photos. So again, estimation is always a good strategy to start with. So then I know if my final answer is in the ballpark. And if I were going to estimate this problem, I would round 327 to the nearest 100, which would be 300. And I would round 12 to the nearest 10, which would be 10. 300 divided by 10 is 30. So my estimation is 30. I would expect that she would need around 30 pages in her album. So now we're going to do uh, the exact problem. To answer the question, we'll have to find out exactly how many 12s are in 327. And I'm gonna start with the partial quotient method. So 327 divided by 12. First thing, I wanna try to use probably um, what we call a friendly number. And a friendly number could be a multiple of 10, just because it's easier to multiply by that. So if I thought, how many 12s are in 327? Are there at least 10 12s? Well, 10 times 12 is 120. So I think, yes, there's at least 10. Could there be 20 12s, which would be 120 and 120, 240? Yeah. So my first number is going to be 20 times 12 is 240. I will subtract. That's not a very good two. I'm going to rewrite that. All right, now I'll subtract and I have seven and I have 87. So I'm going to uh, think of a division fact fact, actually, I know my 12 facts, and I know that 12 times 7 is 84, so I think that would be a good thing to try here. Here's my partial, 12 times 7, 84, and I subtract, and there's my remainder of 3. Okay, and so I really don't need to um, divide any farther because my remainder is less than my divisor. And then I find the sum of these numbers, 20 plus seven is 27. Write it right up here. 
And I find that the exact answer is 327 divided by 12 is 27 with a remainder of 3. 27 with a remainder of 3. And remember, my estimate was 30, so I'm in the ballpark. Um, what do we do with the remainder in this case? Well, we'd have three photographs left over, so we'd have to get a scrapbook album with at least 28 pages. All right, another example. 866 divided by 27. Again, I'm going to think of friendly numbers. I can easily multiply 10 times 27. So if I do 10 times 27, I get 270. Subtract. And I see that I can get another 10. 270, 27 times 10. Again, I'll subtract. So these are partial quotients. I'm finding a number subtracting. And it looks like I can get another 10 in this 270. And now, subtracting, I have 56, and I know that 2 times, that doesn't look like very much like a 6. So, let me fix that. So again, I know that 2 times 7 is 54. I'll multiply that. Subtract, and I have a remainder of 2. Again, my remainder is less than my divisor. So I know I'm done dividing. So in this partial quotient, I'm finding some very friendly numbers and doing an easy multiplication and subtraction. So I've got 10, 20, 32, and I have a remainder of 2. All right, so. Repeated subtraction, the partial quotient method of dividing. And now I'm going to do the more traditional method. Same problem with the divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down method. So when I do that, grab my tip pen. How many 27s are in 8? There are none. How many 27s in 86? Well, if I were thinking estimate, if this were 30 and this were 90, there'd be 3. So 3 is the number I want to try. I have to be careful where I place it. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So I've divided, multiplied 3 times 27, subtract, and now I'm ready to bring down my next number. I go back to step one, divide. How many 27s and 56? Two, multiply. Two times 27, 54, subtract. No number to bring down, so I have a remainder of two. And I can write it this way, or again, we said we can express it as a mixed number. 32 and my remainder over my divisor, 32 and 2 27ths. And I'll do one other example, 791 divided by 33. Grab my pen. About how many 33s are in 79? Well, again, 3 times 33 would be in the 90s, so I'm going to try a 2. 2 times 33, 66. Subtract, multiply, and then subtract, bring down my next number, 131 divided by 33. Again, I knew 3 times 33 would be 99, so I'll try that. 
multiply 3 times 33, subtract. No number to bring down. I look at re my remainder. 32 is less than 33, and that's the criteria for when I'm done dividing. So this becomes my remainder. 23, remainder 32. And again, if I were going to write it as a mixed number, it would be 23 and 32 over 33, that remainder over the divisor. So we had two strategies for dividing. We can do kind of the repeated subtraction, all right, and uh, our partial quotient. That was the first strategy, and the second was the more traditional divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. With either strategy, your division is complete when you subtract and you get a remainder, a number less than your divisor. So spend some time practicing and uh, show me how well you can divide with accuracy.